Welcome to the Swim Swam podcast. I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. Joining me today, we've got a very special guest, fresh off of the 2021 U.S. Olympic trials, uh, where his son and athlete, Michael Andrew, qualified in three individual events uh, to represent the U.S. in Tokyo, 100 breasts, 200 IM, 50 free. Today, we are sitting down with Michael Andrew's coach and father, Peter Andrew. Peter, how's it going, man? Good to be on. great seeing you i know we just finished talking about uh your travel day it's been it's been yeah. i think everyone yeah. needs some recovery time after that meet it was yeah. a long eight days oh, long eh? it was long eh? we spoke a lot about that was like you know you you finish and then you massage and thank goodness we booked all the meals because you, mm-hmm. you know then you rush upstairs and we always feel bad like all the fans are waiting and then you you really have to just move you know so you try and do a few and We'd leave Tina behind handing out caps and, you know, just to be nice. But uh, it's, yeah, it, it really is lonely. And I, I, maybe that's a great place to start. Well, I, I'm going to get to that. Well, I, I do want to talk about the meet. But first, to, to start off, heading into the meet, um, you know, the, the last couple months in May, we saw Michael throw down a really impressive performances at the pro swim in Indy. Um, so I was wondering if you could just talk about, uh, what he was doing in the pool outside of the pool in, uh, in April, May, and June leading up to trials. Yeah. 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 I think the big change for us was, um, you know, we did a, a training camp in Hawaii and, um, we did much the same thing, you know, because we don't really train that much long course. So this was all long course training. And when we came back, we went into and swam a meet and admission right away. And, and his times were very subpar, really. And I was expecting a little more. Although we did the same thing the previous year, you know, when the Olympics were going to be in 2020. And, um, and we were, you know, we, we we'd kind of left out the speed component because we had spent so much time training long course. And so between Mission and then Indy, we were able to actually secure long course water um, out on Coronado Island on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so it really worked well with the speed and then and, and training everything specific, obviously, for the 200 pace work for the 2IM and then all these 100 pace work for the breaststroke and, and, uh, and we're training for the fly. And, and so, uh, yeah, and it just, it just all came together at the right time for an in Indy. Yeah. And then from there, you know, we just had to carry it on and actually back off a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, yeah, I want to get to that in a sec. Were, were you guys doing anything outside of the pool? Um, was he lifting at all during that time? Yeah. No, we, you know, we, we, Oh, a couple of months ago, we started to experiment really with lifting, but we, we really did no lifting. I did more work with um, Tom Barton and, uh, and he runs that, is it uh, Q Swim out of Australia, but it's his, what he does is more mobility work, you know, just to mm-hmm. be longer. And, you know, cause that's something I realize uh, more and more is length is speed, especially for Michael. I and mean, you see that, especially in the last little bit and we're figuring that out the last little bit um, in that two I am, and it's just getting long and being able to, you know, just extend himself. But um, yeah, but definitely we have not done anything weight related and, you know, and I always, my problem with that is, you know, any, any fatigue that's created in the weights, it steals the speed out of the pool. And so to combine them is so difficult. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, just basically we've been doing swimming. I think what's helped him a lot is surfing. You know, he surfs a lot. And, um, and yeah, so I think that that's, there's a lot more power. So that's almost would be his weight work, right? Is the, the surfing because he's crunching and he paddles, you know, it's short bursts of hard paddling to get into a wave. Um, mm. But yeah, but that's really about it. And I, and I think that in itself, the surfing is more recovery as well. You know, you get in that cold water, it uh, really helps to recover the body. And then also the enjoyment of it, you know, it's such a beautiful thing. There's definitely a lot of the electricity and good things that happen in the ocean. So it's a, definitely a combination of the surfing and then obviously it's swimming, swimming. It's, I mean, that's what we concentrated on the most. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, 
that's that you brought up an interesting point with lifting. Um, you said, you know, the, the fatigue that lifting can bring to the muscles kind of hinders the work you do in the pool. Um, and you know, if, if you think about how you guys train, you guys swim at race pace, right. All the time. And so can you, can you speak a little more on that? Because I, I, I feel like that's a good point to kind of make yeah. sure our audience gets, understands that yeah. part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, you know, the weights part is definitely, you know, obviously we've worked with Dr. Rushell and, and, you know, I mean, there really isn't any science to prove that, you know, lifting weights on land is going to make you faster in the water. What makes you faster in the water is training faster in the water because it's all neural, right? You train your body to go to speed. And, and once the body understands that and it's replicated it over and over and over, you know, you can come in and, and that's the speed that it'll understand, it'll know and it'll, and it'll do. And so the, so the, the strength from a land strength and a swim strength are two different, two different beasts. I mean, I, and, and obviously, I mean, we always want to experiment and, and, and play around with that. And you now I, I always wonder, and I don't know, you know, science, you know, with it's, we're learning all the time, but I, I always wonder, like, would it be a smart idea to, to, you know, just work on weights and building power and then, and then, you know, not doing any more weights and then coming in when the body's a lot stronger, but it's land strength, right? And then trying to adapt that strength into the water in his speed work, but doing them together for us, it doesn't work. And, and I'm not even sure about that either. You know, it'd be kind of a fun experiment to do and see, you know. I mean, there's definitely parts like the, I mean, you know, for Caleb, I mean, that's how we swim our 50 years. You know, I always tell Michael, okay, you know, so Caleb's the rabbit, right? We're going to chase him because we know he's going to be out. We just want to try and be on his hip because then we can swim and try and catch him. And I mean, it's obviously our goal is to become more powerful in the legs to be able to jump harder off the blocks and and be with them at the 15 and um so so i mean that's stuff we're always trying to figure out and and work on and so you know that will be for the next season for sure i mean that's the beautiful thing right you never there's always something and uh yeah but but uh, yeah for us the weights it's we stepped away from it completely just work mainly on the speed in the water mm. so so then um working on the speed in the water, he, he has this meet in India. And then, as you mentioned, you, you had to back off quite a bit heading into trials. What does backing off yeah. look like um, yeah. for, yeah, so, for your so, training so, sessions? Yeah, I sort of backing off was really, and I mean, even when we were at trials, Michael was like a, a little concerned going to the first two IM, you know, it's like, sure. We, I mean, for, for us, backing off would be, let's say when we go out and we do um, 200 pace, we'll do, <clears throat> we'll do two or three sets where we do 20 fifties at pace and then backing off would go down to 10 fifties at pace. So he, he basically wasn't really, we weren't really stressing the body. I mean, cause I understand stress plus rest equals growth. And so you've got to break down. And so now we're just working not to break down, but to have that speed. So his body feels the speed, but he's, but he's just growing stronger all the time because there's no real stress on his body. And we did that for, for at least two weeks, which is something is we've never done that long. Mm. And so, so he was concerned like, wow, you know, am I, and that's, a, that's just a mind thing till he had his first swim and he realized, Yo, uh, you know, I'm okay. Um, although when he gets to the back end of that, you know, and we're getting better. I mean, I feel like that last 200, he, he was good for 35 and then, and then, you know, and I am excited for this trip where I get to be with um, Greg Troy and, you know, great coaches and and uh, can pick their brains and have them watch and you know and and the advice that they give of you know how how can we conserve and what do they see where we conserve and and try and make that last leg you know way better that you know because because i mean they they are guys with the, all the experience so it's going to be a beautiful trip for us yeah and i'm i'm super excited to hear about that trip as well i'm i'm really happy um, for, for you and Michael, both for getting selected on that team. Um, so, so you guys tapered down for, or, you know, you, you prepared for trials for two weeks, like you said, which you'd never done before. Um, and yeah. then coming into the meet, could you, how was Michael feeling from your perspective, um, before oh, that yeah. first hundred breast? Yeah. I mean, he, he was definitely feeling really good because like our splits, 
you know, and that's how we gauge what he's going to swim is his, his, his split times really dropped down. Mm-hmm. You know, he was much faster. So, I mean, I could see us getting faster and faster and faster. And even especially on the breaststroke, I mean, what really amazed me was, you know, we're trying to do it with far less strokes, right? Um, and, and he actually, you know, so we try and hold five strokes for the 25 and he, he dropped to four. And, that, and, and still holding the same speed. And that was really impressive to me because it's, I mean, it's just super power. And, um, you know, I know that, okay, so those first two breaststrokes that he did, the prelim and the semis, the prelim was, was awesome. The, the semis, I felt like he sh- should have been faster, but I know he got a glimpse of Nick and so he got out of his race a little. Uh, and then the final was just, that, that was, there was, it was all wrong. <laughs> and badly executed. And that was just because I know it's just because he wanted to be on the team so badly. And I don't even know how you train an athlete for that because there's just so much more emotion that I, I, this, you know, and there's, there's, I think Olympic trials, it's the biggest pressure meet in the world. You know, I feel like going to the Olympics, you know, it's, it's really not anything near this, you know, and uh, I, I do believe, I really do know he's going to get down into that 57 range. Yeah, and it'll be way better because he's going to be the chaser and not, you know, feeling like he's being chased. So it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, from my experience, not even being a coach or an athlete at that meet, it's so, there's so much yeah. stress. There's so much pressure. Yeah. Um, so and, intense. yeah. And that's a really good point. It's like, how, how do you train an athlete for, to be ready for that final, for that specific race? um and yeah. still try to execute that plan it's yeah yeah, yeah i don't know yeah and i mean after the after the breast right and thank goodness he you know we were really fortunate to be on the right side of the one 100 because I, I i thought after that like oh my goodness i would be absolutely crucified if he had lost that and i'd put him in the back stroke you know which was just a kind of a um, I mean, it was just really to get him to feeling racing and stuff. It wasn't, uh, yeah, but uh, it could have been backfired on us terribly, but but it didn't. So fortunate with that. But after that, you know, on his his execution and his race plan was was way better. And but just because the pressure of making the team, it was off. And so you know, the 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 IM was pretty good, and then the the free. I mean, he consistently got faster and faster, which was nice to see. Absolutely. And yeah, so a couple questions about this um, racing agenda. Yeah, a lot of people didn't seem to understand, like, why is he swimming the hunter back final? Like, there, you know, it's like he, his, his chances aren't that high. And it's like, well, this is, you know, it's like someone who's, who's followed Michael for a long time. It's like, this is what he does. He races. And this is yeah, like, this is how he gets yeah. better. And like, he trains for this. But like, this is, you know, this is his training. Um, yeah. what, what do you yeah. feel like he gained from that hunter back yeah. final? Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that was the idea was just training and racing and just, you know, because we've had so few opportunities to race. And so, you know, I feel like that just gets him in that racing feeling and um, and and it, and it could have been a bad, I mean, I, I still feel like it was a good decision because we really, you know, in the morning, he, he really laid off his legs, but, um, but it still could have, I don't know, I, it, it definitely wasn't that race that affected the, the outcome come in the evening for the 100 breast uh, that was really about just wanting to get on the team but I, I know everybody else wouldn't have understood that <laughs> they would have like wow kill peter <laughs> but uh yeah so thank goodness we were on the right side of that one 100 um yeah yeah so. and, and yeah it's like that that makes sense to me um especially with with how little race like you said how little racing there has been this year and how much racing yeah. you all normally do yeah uh, no and and yeah you know, in the he, he really wants you to swim the 100 fly you know his, his fly has been so beautiful and it's it, it's fast i mean he, he would have been really fast and i mean i, I, I know he would have um you know and, and then i mean can you say that but i, I know he would have been in the in that 50 the you know, low 50 um but you know when we sat down and looked at the program, you know, it, it kind of, especially if you're going to go to the Olympics is it becomes very crowded back there. You know, there's the IM relays and, you know, and so you, it wouldn't really have made sense. So we, we had a long talk about that and, you know, he really wanted to swim it and, 
And I left that up to him you know, to make that decision. And so I was pretty proud of him that he, you know, that he, he decided, okay, I'll, I'll concentrate on, you know, the IM and the, and then the 50, because that fly falls in a tough spot. If you, if you want to swim the, you know, the mixed medley and that's if, you know, Dave and you know, when they crunch all the numbers and figure out who goes on there. But um, I do, I do believe, you know, the key to beating the British is, um, you know, it's, a, it's, getting really close to Adam's um, breaststroke. And so, you know, so, so at least we'll be ready. Um, you know, his load will be light on that night. So if they need him, you know, he'll be ready to step up. And so, so it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think the decision was good and uh, yeah, I'm proud of him for, for making it himself. I, you know. I know, as fans, we wanted to see him swim the hundred fly, but yeah. personally, uh, that yeah, would have, that would have terrified me if he did. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh no, yeah. it's too much. Or like that's just yeah. it's a lot of events. It's a lot of racing. Yeah, no, it, it is a lot. Eh? I mean, I I do believe that he he could handle it. You know, I, I feel like you know we kind of train for threes, but it is you know those you know long nights and and swimming you know t- you know three times always. It's it is, it is a lot, but uh, yeah, I mean, and looking back, it's uh, perfect. I, I love the way it's laid out for him, you know, the mm-hmm. breast, the two I am and such a variation. And I, I love the way we can train for that. It just works good for him. Yeah. Yeah. And so now, yeah, I would like to kind of circle back um, and, and for you to take us through the meet schedule and just how you guys managed your days, because I don't think most people realize this isn't just like a normal prelims finals, you know, meet like a pro swim where you kind of go in, you do your race, maybe you recover a little in between and then, then that's it. Um, what, what, what's, so what are the extras that you guys are dealing with on a day to day? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, so he uses the, the katsu, so I mean uh, he, that that he uses a lot to get the blood really moving through his system. My wife Tina is uh, came as his massage therapist, so we we concentrate a lot on just flushing him out. We use that G five to just um, you know just get everything flowing. So I mean recovery is very very important, and then obviously him eating properly. And thank goodness we signed up for the meals. You know that was the smartest thing we could have done. And the, and the meals were really good. USA Swimming did a good job with that because it's, you know, by the time we finished in the evenings, everything's closed, you know, and you don't want to just be eating chipotle every, every night. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, that was good. So, I mean, it, but it is, it's a lot, it's, it's, it's a lot of management and, um, you know, so, but, but I mean, it, it definitely worked out well. Um, yeah. And, and the meat was run so well. It was really a, um, compared to 216, I mean, it was, you know, there's so f- less people uh, in the training pool and, you know, it was just, it was just really ideal actually. So, so we really enjoyed it. D- this is something that I ask a lot of people about, and I'm just so personally curious about, um, was he able to sleep during the meet? I mean, was, you know, like uh, after yeah. he made it in the hundred breasts like did he only get like four or five hours of sleep or was he able to you know rest and recover as he normally would yeah yeah he's pretty responsible so he he uh, that evening uh we did go and um, we had a lot of friends from kansas because it's not far right and and so we did go and have uh, some champagne and uh, celebrate a little but Mm -hmm. uh he didn't have any (laughs) just us and um yeah so he and he got to bed at a, the right time and you know and so i mean because it's the rest of the meat just yes, one down and we knew we had a um and then we were going to do the hundred free but again it's even if he even if he were to swim a time in that you know i know that six athletes will go they have to swim all six and then is it worth again risking him? You know, uh, if we if he can be on a relay, and um, so it was like, yeah, we no, we won't do it. But um, but next time, you know, we can we'll change our event schedule and maybe do everything different. <laughs> yeah. 
And that's the fun, right? <laughs> of, of him being, yeah, that is the, of him being him. Yeah. yeah, that is fun. And that's, you know, and that's the thing, you know, it's got, I mean, we, we got to be having fun. I mean, it was a super, I mean, our outcome was amazing. I mean, and for myself to be selected as, as a coach as well, that was, that was, that's really amazing. So, you know, now we can go to Hawaii and I can work with him myself and, yeah, I really feel like it's, uh, I mean, I'm really blessed because I feel like, you know, you, you don't want to get to the pinnacle and then, and then your athletes working with someone else. And so I, I do think that, you know, this will be a really great opportunity, you know, to really show up at, at the Olympics, your best. And so we're blessed to be able to have that opportunity and, you know, very grateful for that. So um, coming off of trials, you know, yeah, before you head into training camp, before you go to Hawaii with Team USA and get a lot of feedback from a lot of different people there, what did you, um, as, as his coach, take away from trials and what did you see in those swims, 100 breast, 2 IM, and 50 free? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, uh, like I said, on that 100 breast, I was, I was, I was happy with the, the first swim the prelim swim i could see on the second one you know that he 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 did um, have a he, he looked at at nick and um and then the last one is that not good uh the two i am i think that was good i think he was learning as he went through that because mm-hmm. definitely even the the last on finals he it was it was two tenths slower than the than the semi swim but he he was better for the first for the first 35 of that um freestyle and that's the one that we've been working on you know we're trying to like we how can we save a little bit of his legs so that you know we can it can convert in the back he did go out way too fast i mean uh, thank goodness he didn't look up at the jumbotron because that would have <laughs> probably made him uh, and so and we're trying to figure that out i definitely had some uh, talks with greg troy you know and i feel like you know he trained Lochte, the I mean, that was the greatest uh, 154. And, uh, you know, and these guys are so, you know, they've been around the block and, you know, John Ivanchik, they, you know, it's just like they pass so much knowledge down. So, and it's things that, you know, we can learn and try and even, tr- and, and actually train through the training camp and then even try it in the prelim swim and, and then see if it works, then fantastic. If not, you know, we could stick to the, what we're doing for now, you know, I think the tough thing with this whole COVID deal is we just didn't get to race that at all, you know, just three times. And so, you know, Michael learns when he races, like, okay, I, you know, if I change this up, I change that up. And so, you know, we, we in the process of learning, but we just, it's, we're just missing those extra racing opportunities to be able to make a change. So, I mean, I know that world records right there, uh, we just have to manage it properly yeah so yeah and, and the 50 was i mean that was awesome it's always lovely to you know we, I, I relish the him racing caleb because you know I, I know he's gonna he's getting out there ahead and we get to chase him and so that's it's always good to you know that's the biggest test of all right and you race the best and so um that, that was fun i mean i loved him ending that meet, you know, going, you know, fast, faster, fastest. And that's always the right progression that we want to be in. And uh, yeah, and then we come away from that with a good experience and then can go in and work hard now and, and, and be super sharp for uh, Japan. So it's, yeah, it's been really great for us. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like that meet schedule is ideal in terms of going 100 breast, 200 IM, 50 free in that order, especially ending with the 50. Yeah, 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 definitely. For I, I, I really like it for him. I mean, for, I think the schedule's perfect. For, the perfect thing was that the breast was first and he was firing in that. And to make the team like on the second night is that's just huge because then I feel like the pressure's all off of him and you know he can just step it up and 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 have fun and you know if you're having fun and enjoying it you're always way better and so I, I, he's definitely enjoying the meet and he enjoyed it so yeah and, and i like the schedule you know the way it's laid up even into the olympics you know and that's and that's i think the nice thing of if you have a flexible swimmer you, know, you can really look at the program 
and then design how, you know, what's good for you and, you know, just go according to the schedule and not like have a whole bunch of races to, together. So, you know, I like that for, for him. And yeah. then, and, you know, the, we, we wrote an article about it, you know, but he's the first person to ever qualify in breaststroke and non I am events. He's certainly the first person to ever qualify in, in these three yeah. events. Um, yeah. his, over the last two years, I know you guys have put an emphasis um, on that 200 IM, but have you found it to be, have you found any difficulties on training such a diverse uh, spectrum of events like that? Yeah, no, not really. I think, I actually think that the training is 200s. You know, so, so training the 200 pace, and we just do it in 50s at long course, training that really gives them the ability to finish his hundreds way better. And, and I think that's really helped like the doing fifties of fly has really helped him to be able to finish the butterfly, the hundred well. Um, and you can see his back half has got so much better. And so, yeah, definitely. I, I would, um, I, I like that we can train for the 200 and then it carries over for sure into the hundreds. And then the speed work, you know, that's just, we just do that on its own. And, and, and the thing with the 50 is he, he's still a little, like he's, I mean, he's a big guy, but he's like a little boy. He loves to go fast, you know? And so the 50 is a race that he loves to do. And so, you know, we'd probably always be doing the 50. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's, it's I think it, it works really well all together, you know, for sure do you have like a certain mix or, or a weekly routine you do of like, okay, Monday, we have this focus yeah. Tuesday. We have this focus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I mean, really the it's, you know, we've been going Tuesdays and Thursdays long course. And then I'd, I'd, I'd really, we just mixed up cause we're doing all strokes, but um, the, I do the, the Tuesday and the Thursday long course, I do it just like an IM. So we'd come out and we'd do our first set would be fly, you know, because it's first and then back. Um, and and then we'd do like an IM set with that. So, so we'd do fly back. So it'd be like 20 flies, 20 backs, and then a couple IMs that are broken. And then the on the Thursday, we'd do fly back, so breast and then free and then some irons you know and we and we're trying to swim the free trying to get him a little more tired so he feels the back end but it's still not the same as once you've done everything and you you know that that pain i mean that i I think you learn in racing and where to try and save the legs you know or where do you knock off you know add a little time but hope you're going to gain it on the back Mm -hmm. and and we're getting closer for sure and once he gets it Boom, he, it'll be amazing you know so we're moving in the right direction yeah and so, i mean again just to close out here and kind of wrap things up how how are, you, how are you personally feeling heading heading into this training camp in hawaii and then to tokyo yeah. um as as, yeah. a, as an olympic coach yeah i mean it's, what a privilege right i mean i i it was i mean i yeah, you always hope that you get because because my thing is I mean I I just would like to be able to prepare Michael his best to be his best, especially at that clinical stage. And we've always worked with him to be able to manage himself well, so that if we can't be together, you know, at least he can you know manage himself. But I think it's like exponentially better if we can stay as a team because that's what we've kind of done our whole career. So that was a, a beautiful thing and. You know, I, I mean, I got getting the like call and and telling me I thought it was like super cool, and then going in to the meeting in the morning, it was it was really for me. It was I mean, I really laughed about it because I <laughs> I went in and you know there was a whiteboard and everyone's sitting around the table and and uh, they, they so all their names and then their training groups. You know, and I, I look, there's my name. My training group is Michael Andrew. <laughs> So like, oh awesome but i but i love that you know because i mean obviously we do everything different so it's not so i i know we'll get to have some athletes will come and jump in and do stuff with us and and i, I feel like it gives me the opportunity as well to to piggyback with michael on with other the other coaches when they're doing a sprint set or whatever so so i'll be able to learn more from them and 
and listen to them. And, and so I, I think it's going to be, for me, a, a good learning experience. And um, yeah, it's just going to be awesome. I mean, it's such an interesting, I mean, it was such an interesting trials, right? I mean, there's so few of the old guard. And so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a really fun time. And uh, I mean, I, I think we're going to, I mean, I really believe they're going to do incredibly well. Because, uh, yeah, I was pretty impressed with how fast trials was. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to the training in Hawaii. I think that's a, a really, really cool option to be out there. And then on to Tokyo. And uh, we're getting in probably earlier than most teams. So, um, I mean, it's going to be strange in Japan, right? Because with all, you know, the lockdown and, and I know they're very strict and, so, um, but you know, uh, everyone's going to be facing the same thing. And um, so we just, uh, just go in and be positive. And uh, one thing I know is, you know, I did that one team trip and USA Swimming just runs such an incredible, like the support staff. I was so impressed with, you know, how well they run everything. And, you know, they you get the space for Team USA and it's just, uh, it's, it's a well-run machine. So I think it's going to be an incredible experience for all the kids. And, uh, you know, I think they'll, they always set them up to perform their best. So it'll, it'll be fun. That's, that's one other thing. If you could take us behind the curtain just a bit, you know, as you said, you've been on a team USA trip before. And again, it's not, you know, for, for, for a fan, we just see what we see on TV, which is the prelims and finals, right? We just see yeah. the swim meet portion of it. Um, you know, obviously Michael's been on you at team USA trips as well, but what do you guys do to prepare for a big travel yeah. trip like that, that is obviously much more involved than just your average yeah. pro swim prelims finals meet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now, now the biggest thing is just staying healthy, you know, staying, you know, trying not to mix too much with, with, you know, the, the masses, like a lot of people, cause you don't, I mean, you know, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to get sick and, and then just re- a lot of recovery and, uh, um, just rest. I mean, I, th- I still think the greatest training is rest because we only really grow in sleep, right? So it's sleep and rest and, um, and eat well. And so, I mean, that's our main thing now. And definitely like with Japan, I mean, and USA Swimming is going to concentrate on that as well as training, you know, at kind of at the, your main trainings at the times that you'll race because it's kind of flipped over mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, 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 and we've always kind of tried to do that to simulate you know training at the same time so your body you know it, it knows that it'll wake up at that time and it gets i mean we, we condition right we condition ourselves so so that's kind of what we'll do is just kind of condition and get ready and and so when it comes time you just step up and you know and i really don't think it's gonna be you know it's not going to be the same pressure for sure as trials. So I do think the U S team is going to be even better than what they all swam at trials. So it'll, it'll be a fun, fun meet for team USA. Yeah. Well, Peter, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and chat, especially with with the, the, the 24 hours you've had. I know it was a rough travel trip. (laughs) It was crazy. Trying to sleep on a on a rock hard floor is uh, is ridiculous, but it is what it is, you know. And that's the thing, you know. You you sometimes you it doesn't don't things don't go the way you you uh, expect and stuff. And it's just you got to roll with it and uh, you know it's and adapt. And that's kind of you know how how it happens. If you can't adapt and you stress out, then you know it's, it's only yourself that you know you go down. So we don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So again, thank you, Peter. Any parting thoughts before we sign off today? Sure. Parting thoughts. I I mean, just, uh, yeah, that's, I I don't know. Go Team USA. (laughs) You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swim Podcasts on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.